The TV6 Health Watch is brought to you by Alive, giving you more minerals and vitamins than leading brands. Distributed by h and Enterprises Limited. Unfortunately, we have recorded our first death, uh, first one in about five years, and um, condolences to that particular family. But we really want to urge the public to heed the messages we have been given out since around March, April, about mosquito eradication. Yeah. The minister reminds the public that dengue is carried by the Aedes aegypti mosquito. He says after you are bitten, there is an incubation period of 2 to 14 days. And that's one of the problems with controlling dengue, um, because people will travel and so on. Mm -hmm. um, it happened in South Tr Trinidad. I can't give you more details than that, obviously, mm -hmm. to protect the privacy of the family. But again, our condolences go out to them. Um, what we are asking people to do, what we ask people to do every year, is to help us with source reduction in their homes, yeah. uh, your gutterings, um, your flower pots, your drains, your vases inside your houses. All right? So anywhere where you have still clear, stagnant water is a breeding place of mosquitoes. He notes that even a bottle cap with water can be a potential breeding site. The minister shares that he himself has done checks at his own home. You know what was my main one research was? I was horrified about in my own yard, mm -hmm. a bird bath. Right. So I moved it out. Yes. I moved it out. So all these common sense approaches can really help us. Also speaking with TV6 was Chief Public Health Inspector Dr. Mark Dukaran, who explains that once a dengue case is identified, the ministry will act immediately to break the chain of transmission with ultra-low volume spraying before the workers go in to treat the homes. Dr. Dukaran further explains how dengue is transmitted. So one mosquito can infect more than one person. Yeah. Additionally to that, an uninfected mosquito, when they bite someone who has dengue, they now ingest that virus with the blood when they take in the blood. The virus replicates, as Minister would have said, for, for COVID. Yes. It operates like a photocopying machine. Mm -hmm. So the virus replicates in the mosquito. Dr. Dukaran says dealing with the spread of the virus must be a coordinated effort between the public health department and the population. The minister notes that people must follow the guidelines and play their role in eradicating the problem. He says, while many ask for the ministry to spray more often, too much spraying will allow the mosquito to develop a resistance, as no new chemicals have been developed to treat with the mosquito problem. I'm Nicole M. Romani with tonight's Health Watch.